Skilltech will bring together some of Ireland's best-known entrepreneurs and businesses to one of Ireland's most rural areas in Gwydor. Skilltech wants to get the message across that rural Ireland is open for business. Skilltech is an initiative we decided to set up here in, in Gwydor where it's a, an entrepreneur kind of based networking event where we have some great guest speakers coming into the county. A lot of them would be first-time visitors into Donegal and we want to showcase uh, what Donegal has to offer in a business sense and really inspire uh, and send out a positive message that, that rural Ireland uh, is open for business in 2015 and beyond. A number of businessmen who have made millions of euro and created hundreds of jobs will be speaking at the event. The standard of speaker that we have coming to the, to the event, the likes of Colm Lyon. Colm Lyon set up a business from working as a bank clerk he set up his business and sold it in January this year for, for an estimated £115 million. He'll tell a fascinating story. Julie Cinnamon, the CEO of Enterprise Ireland, one of the top 25 most influential women in Ireland. We have Paula Mahoney, uh, is been known as the Pied Piper of social media. And any business that, that is looking to use social media at all, I, I think it's, it's a coup for them to come and listen to what he has to say. A full list of speakers are available on Gealtech.info. The organisers of the event say Gealtech is a must-go-to event for new startups and entrepreneurs from Donegal to share ideas and techniques. This is also a networking event, so the, the next Snapchat, Facebook, whatever it may be, there could be somebody in that audience that, that could network with somebody that might get them started or might even help them to think about an idea that they have going forward uh, and that anything's possible with the power of the internet in rural Ireland. Gealtech takes place at the Ashland Guidor on Friday the 4th and Saturday the 5th of September. Barry White for Donegal TV, Dunlewey.